have it at the Elks, that is correct. That is correct. However, if you remember from the Elks, it gets a little warm out there. It does at Irvine Park too, but we got a lot more trees to sit under and have a nice time. So the bathrooms are right next to it. Trust me, it's a good spot. Who was there two years ago when we did it? We had a good time, right? This year we're going to have an even better time, so get ready for that. September 21st, we're already scheduled by Santa Ed Howley at the Yacht Club down in Dana Point. Here, here. Bring your own yacht. Yay, we're excited about that. And then uh, October, just so we can kind of give you a heads up for what's coming down the road. Remember, we did September 23rd last year for the Breast Cancer Angels Chili Potato Dinner. We're doing it October 20th this year. It'll be our last meeting date of the year. We'll again have a real quick meeting and then do our thing. We want to collect, so we'll be having tickets going out in the next couple of months to you guys to sell. Even if people don't want to come take the donations, we can help the Breast Cancer Angels with their stuff during December. Well, there is a Jethawks game in May. I'm supposed to promote that for Santa Robert Tatangelo. They're going out to the Jethawks, but prior to that, they will be going out to the reindeer farm. There's a lady by the name of Diana Freeling. She has reindeer. She has Zebra, she has camels, she has all kinds. Windswept Ranch. Windswept Ranch out in Tehachapi. It's May 25th. They'll be going out there early in the day, then having dinner, and then going to the Jetthawks game. Santa Rick and I can't go to the Jetthawks game this year because, well, we're headed out to Vegas the next day. So, um, anyway, that's some things that Mention are coming. Kathy's oh, and that's the thing. Thank you. Redlands, April 27th. Kathy Perone from the Inland Empire Santas. She's put together a nice little tour around the city of Redlands. She's found a little museum out there for us to go to, a cool restaurant, some sites in Redlands that you might never even know, have known that existed. Santa Rick and I will be going to that. So if you're going to do that, that's April 27th. Um, I'm going to grab off of Facebook. I try to take pictures of the flyers that show up in the Forbes site where you can't see them and bring them over to mine where you're connected to me. So those will be popping out too. Pay attention to the dates because some of them are real close. <laughs> so uh, Santa Pete is selling tickets for the Angels. Let him talk. You want to talk? Come on up. He said no. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Well, I'll talk for him. This guy has pulled off an amazing feat. Uh, I thought nobody would ever be able to fill the shoes left by this guy right here. But, man, this guy. Whew, go ahead and tell him what you got, man. Well, right now we've got over 130 tickets. <laughs> for people who want to sit with the Santas and um, four Santas. Thank you. Any anniversaries in the house? 35, 40 tickets left. I've got some handicap seating available if you're on a scooter. You have a mobility problem. We can we can still take care of you. He um, takes cash, credit card, buffalo hides, beaver pelts. You know. <laughs> I'm taking cash or checks. You can pay credit card through work, through Rick. Right. And uh, you can also pay cash for memorabilia or dues if you want. So anyway, anybody who's interested, you know, raise their hand or come see me before you leave. I meant to say credit card. I'm sorry. We can take credit card orders for anything you guys want to pay for. That's all I got to say. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Wow. Thank you very much, Pete. Excellent okay. job, brother. Excellent. Okay, uh, this is on behalf of Greg Cook in San Diego. Yay, Santa Greg. Santa Greg uh, has been working with Kevin Dodge, and they get no recognition. And so Kevin says, I'll fix that. You bring some people this year, we'll set you right down here, and he pointed to the front rows. Wow. And he says, uh, we'll get, get you on camera a lot. So, Greg's hoping that th these tickets are going to be comped. We don't know. They might be $20. They might be free. But it's on a Monday night, July 29th at 7.15, and um, 
Petco Stadium in San Diego, and the Padres are playing the Orioles. Oh my God! If if you would like to make the trip to San Diego on a Monday night to see the Padres play the Orioles, I I got the information on how you contact Greg Cook and what's going on there. So is there anybody interested? It's a Monday. It is a Monday. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. Sorry, I forgot this one. The Quakes game, August 31st, and some of you already know, you get to go down on the field with us. The Santa's come down on the field. You stand behind me in a semicircle and we sing the national anthem. So, come out, have fun with us August 31st, okay? It's a 7.05 game or something, I think, that afternoon. Something like that, I think. I'll have to look it up, but it'll be posted on Facebook as well. For those of you that are on Facebook and you're not attached to me, look up Diva Claws. You'll find me. And those, those Quake games, you, they sit, they sit us right behind home plate. And In the shade. Yeah. yeah. It's Rancho Cucamonga. You brought the shade. So you don't go up in flames. You catch it. Okay, I don't know how uh, Park. The park? Or Ryan Park. Oh. Charges for getting in. It's five dollars. So bring a carload of people. Oh, that's, that's what I was gonna it's say. a whole whopping five dollars. You know what? I'll even give you a dollar off on your uh, your raffle that month. Okay, so that you have that to throw toward your five dollars to get in. Okay. Or I'll give you extra tickets just so you're in the extra. Yeah. No, she won't. Okay. Vetoed. Denied. One extra ticket for RSVP. Boop. What there you go. Is the big day? What day is what? Picnic is June 22nd. Father's Day, June 15th. We're the following weekend. And then the following Saturday is the Angels. Is that a family event for You can bring anybody you would like to bring, and you can bring dogs, too. You can bring your dogs. I wouldn't bring the cats if you're going to bring the dogs, but you're welcome to if you want to. There is a small train in there. You can go for train rides. You can rent bicycles or the trikes. The, yeah, I haven't done that in years. Uh, paddle boats in the lake. Uh, we are not in one of the big community places. I go out early in the morning and get our spot. We have a really awesome spot close to the restrooms. Everything's right there. So we don't have to say it again. I guess if you want. Mm -hmm. I don't sell it for the park, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a nice park. <laughs> Bring your own saddle nice and ride Lauren. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to sing the, uh, the, the uh, Lord of Santa song? Is that what we got left? Can you lead us? One more thing real quick, sorry. Go ahead. Do you find out about the toy drive? I haven't yet. Santa Pete, do you know if there's a toy drive at the Angels game? I talked with the girl at the Angels Stadium. She's going to check with somebody about that. There, there almost always is, yeah. Tickets are not the same as... We understand that. So if he comes back and says there is, there's a certain gate you have to go through. You give that toy. Uh, they usually take... Uh, I think it's $10 worth of toys, unwrapped. You go through that gate. When you hand that off to them, they hand you a voucher for two tickets for a part and another game later on. It's for two tickets, I believe. Each, for every $10, I think they give you two vouchers. So it's two tickets for future games. What we in turn do is we flip those back into the Elks Lodge in Garden Grove for future events for the Boys and Girls Club of Garden Grove so that those children can go that may never ever have a chance other than you donating those vouchers. Thank you. So Thank Santa you, Pete, you're gonna check on that for me. Thank you. Okay, Bob. Um, okay, we just send the song. What's what, what? The song. The song. He wants to do the song. I didn't pass it out. Then we Sing it from memory, oh, everybody. When Santa is seen in stores and in parks, real bearded men with joy in their hearts, F-O-R-B Santas are here. 
You'll find us in homes or if hospitals call. Toy bin of raise, of course we're in malls. F-O-R-B Santas are here. We smile for all your pictures. Our beards, of course, are real. We keep the joy and spirit of being Santa all the year. So put on your smile, we'll make you a deal. We'll prove to you that Santa is real. F-O-R-B Santas are here. We smile for all your pictures. Our beds, of course, are real. We keep the joy and spirit of being Santa all the year. So put on your smile, we'll make you a deal. We'll prove to you that Santa is real. F-O-R-B Santas are here. Nice. Yeah, this is good. Well chosen. And the people, the people were also Oh, yes, they were. That was Manny and Pedro. They forgot Mo and Jack today. Um, but yes, they did an awesome job. And they okay, all... move that we close the meeting pending the uh, raffle. Okay, time. Okay, motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. S moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Please. Would you like to get the picture before the raffle or after, baby? After the raffle. All right. Please don't leave before we get the group picture. We'd go. Okay, we want to uh, uh, motion to accept the uh, February minutes. Move that the minutes be accepted as submitted by the secretary. Sounds good. I'll second. Second. Okay, the uh, motion's been uh, made and accepted. Can we vote yes or no? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Okay, old business. We got the current membership. Current membership? Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Okay. Um, well, we now have 43 paid members. This is for Craig. Craig, there you go. Uh, Bob is passing out um, ballot sheets right now. Um, I'll just give you guys a quick uh, rundown. This will be the second meeting in our annual election cycle. We opened the floor to nominations for the uh, four elected offices uh, last month. We have uh, currently nominated for the position of president, chapter president. We have the current President, the incumbent Jim Long, who is working the flower fields down there in San Diego this weekend and couldn't join us. Uh, also, a candidate for the president's position is our incumbent vice president and today's master ceremonies, um, Ted Tardy. Um, so, the president's uh, candidates will be Jim Long and Ted Tardy. Uh, to echo those two candidates, the vice presidential candidates are the incumbent president, Jim Long, and the incumbent vice president, Ted Tardy. <laughs> Moving along, the next office is the secretary. Um, oh, I am so sorry. We are opening the floor for nominations before we ballot today. So, for the, f for the position of president, current nominees are... Jim Long and Ted Tardy. Does anybody want to nominate themselves or someone else for the position of chapter president? You can volunteer, you know, it won't hurt. <laughs> I already do, and I can do that office too. Okay, then we will close the nominations for the presidency. Can I nominate someone? Yes, but go ahead, Craig. I'm sorry, we reopened the floor for nominations to president. Nominate Craig. 
Okay. Um, I, am, I, I will not decline the nomination, but I will add the caveat that I am, when we get to it, you'll realize that I'm currently the only nominee for secretary. So, um, I won't... I don't think that we have a rule against it, but I do not choose to occupy two of the four elected offices simultaneously. Um, so, I, by adding myself to the three nominees conditionally as listed, uh, we now bring the nominations for presidency with one last offer. Anyone? To a close. Moving on to the vice president, the office of vice president. Uh, the incumbent vice president, Ted Tardy, is again standing for re-election. The incumbent pre chapter president, Jim Long, has also offered to accept the nomination for this position. Is there anybody else who would like to nominate themselves or anyone else for the position of chapter vice president? Volunteers. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna. We know what next month's church sermon is going to be about. Um, <laughs> so we will then close the nominations for vice president and move on to the office of secretary. The current secretary, myself, incumbent, have accepted the nomination to re to retain the office. Um, is there anyone who would like to nominate themselves or anyone else? from the floor for the office of secretary. His name is Honoroff. No. Ra okay, all right. Fine. Anyway. All right. All right. Is there anybody else who would like to, uh, this, is a, this is a really good starting position for the chapter, guys, here. All right, um, we will then close the nominations from the floor. Uh, the only other office is treasurer. Our, our incumbent treasurer is Bob Callahan. He has agreed to accept the nomination to remain. Is there anyone who would like to nominate themselves or anyone else for the position of treasurer? And how about an internship for treasurer so that you can learn what Bob does and stand for election next time? Just think, you got to handle all that money. It's a paid position. I will pay you with love, 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 love. All right, then. We're going to close the nominations for the treasurer, then. Bob, please. Take this microphone uh, and share what's yeah, in your heart. You might want to fix your well, I passed out what we have on the roster as paid members. Is there anyone here who thought they were paid and I don't have it? Is there anybody here that you, you thought you were paid to join? Oh, this is who's paid. Yeah, way back in February. In December? February. 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 In February. Yeah, I joined in February. Okay. Um, this year? Yeah. When did we introduce the dude? That's Craig Ball. Yeah. I don't have Craig Ball. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. Uh, Bob, did you take this directly from the roster? I, I don't know what you I You spelled did. my name wrong, so I was going to make sure it was yeah. right on No, the... no, it's okay. No, you're, you're Craig. No, I'm Craig. That's right. This is Craig. He's a little... So you're good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I just want to make sure I was still right on the roster. You're good, you're good. We don't even count syllables for Bob if he's in the right neighborhood. Yeah. Sure you are correct on the roster. Right. Okay. As far as I know, I know. Okay, then. Um, Bob, are you verifying... I believe Bob has a final detail. He, Bob, by the way, I would like to thank Bob Callahan, Diva Claus, and Ted Tardy for constituting our elections committee this cycle. Thank you, gentlemen and lady. Thank you so much. And um, I am officiating in my capacity as secretary, in case anybody was wondering. And Bob, have you satisfied yourself regarding the membership questions that popped up at the last moment? Okay. Here's the skinny. Guy. Okay. Here's the skinny. That's not an appropriate term in this group. <laughs> for, for, all, for all new, new members that are coming in, it gets confusing. You can't hear? No. Wow. There you go, Bob. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here's yours. It's off right now. Oh. There is a national organization of the Fraternal Order of Real Beard Standards. The, due for, the annual due for that is $25. And 
the, each one of the chapters has their own structure that, first of all, you have to be a member in good standing of the Nationals. So you have to have paid your $25 there. And then uh, each chapter has their own their own due schedule. And we have just implemented a due schedule of $10 here. So there's some people here that thought they, they had joined, but they joined national. They haven't joined the chapter. We'll welcome you into the chapter, but I can't give you a vote today. Right. Three visits. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah you, you, you have to have made three uh, chapter meetings in order to join the chapter. So we're going to try and keep track of all of this. And this young fellow here is his third meeting. And he's going to give us ten dollars today. We also count the reunion. If you attended the reunion, that could be Richard one of your meetings. Richard is also third visit this time. Okay. Senator Richard Okay. Are you, will you pay ten dollars today? I will pay ten dollars today. Okay. I'll give you a cheap tip. Do you have a ten dollar bill? I'll take it. Hey Bob, are you ready? I think uh, everybody has the balance now that's supposed to have us. Okay. If you satisfied your chapter membership requirements before this meeting, Bob should have given you a ballot or pseudo ballot to use during this election. If you have one, please raise it right now. Just show us your ballots right now. Secret ballot. Thank you. It's just not going to be a secret ballot except that the candidates, if well, actually... Ted will leave the room when we're balloting for those two positions. Um, no, everybody else is. Uh, obviously, the secretary and the treasurer's position will be filled by declaration or acclamation or replication or osmosis. I don't know. Um, but we were we are just about ready to vote for the president and the vice president. So as soon as uh, Diva has extracted the last bit of money from this gentleman's wallet. <laughs> and they're not even married. And, and by the way, if, if there's anybody here Diva left with more than a $3 bill, please raise your hand. She will come by and take it from you right now. Okay. Diva? Yes? Do you have change for an $18 bill? I do. I can change it. <laughs> Her dad says, do you want two nines, three sixes, or six threes? <laughs> All right. Ted, we are about ready to vote on the two positions that are available, so if you would escort yourself to a position. Hey, before we do, can you all give a big hand to your waiters today? And keep that hand And uh, please acknowledge as he leaves the room that Ted stood for office. He has served this chapter for years and years and years. And we thank him for again standing to uh, help with our leadership, our guidance, and our government. So, so Ted is handling the meeting today because our incumbent president, uh, Jim Long, is not here today. And so Jim Long and Ted Tardy have both been willing to take the president and vice president. So we're going to have a vote here and uh, by, a, by a show of your ballot and uh, the one that gets the most votes becomes president and the other one becomes vice president. Is there any question on this? So I think just for clarity's sake, we will vote on the incumbent officer and then the other nominee for each of the offices. So just to be sure, the first vote, the first call will be for the incumbent. You can raise your vote. And then we will call for the uh, nominee, the other nominee, and you can raise your vote. Okay, a call for the incumbent, uh, Jim Long, Santa Jim Long. Everybody that wants Jim, hold your ballot up. Oh. 
One, I two, two three, four. I have Rick. Rick, you can put your hand down. Okay, thank you. I'm recording this well, you should also three. for voice. I have three. Oh, Okay, oh, yeah. so one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's because Santa James Long emailed me this morning. And you have a proxy for Jan. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Please you got fifteen. Fifteen, thank you. All right, so thank you. Bob? Okay, so that that was fifteen for Jim Long. Okay, now we got one for ten times. One, two, three, four, five. Vice president. Five. This is for president. This is for this is for Ted Tardy for the position of president. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, thank you. Moving on. So it was it was fifteen to five. Jim Law retains the office. Okay, we can do that. Um, okay, right, because he can't serve twice. Okay, thank you, Ted. You're all clear, my friend. Oh. <laughs> we need him even worse than you right now. Congratulations, Mr. Vice President. You retain your position and your service to the chapter. Thank you very much. Thank you. And with that, he give him the mic. We do love you. And with all the new blood flowing in this room, I can't wait till election cycle next year. Okay, let's do the treasury report first. Okay. Y'all got uh, treasury report? Treasury report. And we started out last month, and uh, the end of last month, we had $456 in the bank. So we had $290 in the bank, and we had 14 more people paid their $10 dues, so we got a, uh, another 140 to make the treasury in the bank is $430. At the end of the March meeting, well, wait a minute, at the beginning of the March meeting, we had $146. And 50-50 um, made $81. And it had tidy donated five dollars. Yeah. An anonymous donor gave us a hundred and ninety dollars. Wow. wow. I love that anonymous. <laughs> so we ended up with uh, today we have four hundred and twenty-two dollars towards our Christmas charity. Here, here. That's in April. So. With four hundred and twenty-two dollars and four hundred and thirty dollars, we have eight hundred and fifty-two dollars total revenue. Hey. If I may, can I add on to that for our raffle? Is there anybody else who wants to buy raffle tickets? Got them all sold? Okay. Cool. Thank you, Mom. So our donation to the Breast Cancer Angels today into the charity fund is ninety-three dollars. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Yay. Okay, now what were you going to move on to? Hang on. Motion to accept the uh, treasurer's report. Move we accept the treasurer's report is submitted. So, seconded. Moved and seconded. And we got a vote. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Me. So noted. Drag him out and beat him. Okay. Okay, Bob, you ready? What have I got? Where, where are we at? The, the, um, mem the memory book. Oh, the memory book. Santa Richard Irwin, with little help from myself, has put together the memory book and has sent it down to Escondido, where hopefully we have uh, contact with someone that has a printing class in school. And they print the uh, memory books up for us at a very reasonable rate. And so the memory book should be ready for distribution. The next meeting, probably, yeah. Anytime. I was hoping she'd show up today with them. Yeah. Um, 
So, memory book is put to bed. We're waiting on the printer. Okay. A full week ahead of the of, of the record so far. Yeah. Okay. The, the new business that I have is the uh, updating the Orange County roster. Okay. Bob, you want to address that? You get the roster under control, right? Right, I do. Well, with the addition today, we have um, uh, four new members today. So 44. Yeah. Uh, well, we have 43. This oh, will be okay. All right. 47. Uh, Elizabeth backed out, so actually it's 46. I guess. <laughs> but she she paid first, so we're fine. Paid. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. She That's cool. Yeah, I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. She's very supportive. Okay. okay. Um, so other, other than that, um, I think we covered it with the voting. I hope. Okay. Anybody anybody that isn't clear on anything, like pin me to the wall after the meeting here. Um, help any way I can. Okay, move on to activities. Right. Activities. Activities. So, um, next month we're going to be at the Olive Garden in Laguna Hills. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll see a lot of people your own age because that's next to Laguna Woods, <coughs> which is the old leisure world. Um, of course, I now see people my own age there too. So, um, anyway, only one year away. Uh, so, we're going to be there next month. In June, our meeting is going to be held at our joint chapter picnic, June 22nd. You'll be seeing flyers going out. I haven't sent them out yet, and there's a reason why. Because Santa Pete has his angels tickets thing going right now, and I don't want you all to get confused. Because that's the week after our picnic. So, they'll be coming out. It's going to be potluck. We'll have people signing up to bring all the meats or whatever. You bring your own meat. I'm not sure how you want to do that. We will work it out. It's probably going to be predominantly hot dogs and hamburgers, and we'll just all be donating stuff to it, bring in some potato salad, some macaroni salad, and just bring stuff. I've already picked up some pool games and stuff that we'll be playing out there. And there will be competitions going on. There will be prizes. So, yes. Oh, it's going to be at Irvine Park. Irvine Park, in um, it's in Orange, basically. It's next to Villa Park, Orange area. And uh, right next to Irvine Lake, kind of. I'm, I'm liking that part in case I want to get rid of anybody uh, that day. So, anyway, um, Irvine Park, Thank June you. 22nd. Going to start it at 10 o'clock this year. Because five hours for me sitting out there from 6 a.m. to 5 to 11 was no fun. So, you're going to come earlier this year, 10 o'clock. That way we can get everything going. We'll have our meeting.